Now here I will graphically uh, illustrate what is uh, what can be said about local extrema. So we draw a function. Yeah, let's look at uh, the graph of a function f, like so. And suppose we this graph or the function is defined on a closed interval closed interval i, which we indicate here on the x-axis by the red p, so this is i, the interval i, then we see that we have a relative maximum or a maximum, an absolute maximum on the right, the right end of the interval, over here, and on the left hand side we have a relative maximum, and uh, there's some other points, extreme values or local extrema in the yellow points. And the first yellow point here indicates an absolute minimum. Yeah, so this is an absolute minimum. It's the lowest value that f attains on the whole interval i. Now, similarly, we see in the boundary point we have an absolute maximum. Now here, this point over here, this is a relative maximum. Yeah, it's clearly lower, the function value is clearly lower than in the absolute maximum. But if we're close enough, indicated by this yellow, yellow uh, sub-interval of i, if we're close enough, then it's on this interval, it's the absolute maximum. So this is a different way you can look at relative minima, relative maxima. So if we're close enough, if we take a, a small interval, then on this cl uh, small interval you have an absolute minimum or an absolute maximum. Yeah, and notice that in the boundary points of the interval, we many times we find boundary extrema. And these extrema can be absolute or relative. Yeah, on the left hand side we see that it's a relative maximum since its value is lower than the right hand side value. So one thing you can observe is that absolute maximum minima are also relative maximum and minima. So if something is maximum on a whole interval, then also on a smaller interval, this will still be a maximum. So absolute maximum and minima are also relative maximum and minima. Note, however, that you cannot uh, 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 say the converse. So, um, a relative maximum is not necessarily an absolute maximum. Yeah, you see, in the middle of the graph of the function where we indicated a relative maximum, which is not the absolute maximum. Yeah, so a, 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 the property of a relative maximum is weaker than that of an absolute maximum. And the same holds for the minima. If you have a relative minimum, then it could be a relative of an absolute minimum, but not necessarily so.